are here today to give an update on the honeybees. David invited us over to check on them, to see how they're doing, and to see his farm, which he has some animals here, so we're excited to see. So here we go, come along with us. Tune in, we're gonna see. We're gonna feed the baby sheep. It's gonna be amazing. So we're getting ready. We're here getting we go. Ready. There you go, and Chris is getting ready for her bee lesson. My bee adventure. Bee adventure. <laughs> Part two. Love okay. you. Part two. Remember those bees that we were um, they were in our house? Yeah. Remember that Mr. Dave came and picked it up? Yeah. Guess what? We're coming to visit them. We're coming to visit yeah, them you're... today. We're coming to say hi. I'm gonna have to roll them up to your <laughs> neck, maybe. To my neck. Say it again. Hey, no, I don't want to roll them up. Roll. You watch from here, you yeah. don't want to go see it? Well, we will stay a little far away. Okay. And that's Dave. Yep. Hey, now just tie a bow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lesson number one is how to dress yourself as a beekeeper. Wow. <laughs> it, it is. Uh, a lot harder. You gotta close every hole. Twice the size that it should be. Now you're closed up at the collar, right? I think so. Okay. Yeah. And you zipped all the way to the top? All done. No. Right no, there. I'm not. Zip now there's a, a Velcro that will snap and close okay. the collar. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you Let see me get a, um, uh, say hi. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think people will be able to see you. <laughs> and by the way, we're this you will see how the honeys are made, right, Elijah? How the honeys uh, are well, made. You will see. Um, what is that? This is a smoker. Oh, uh, to calm them down, right? Yeah. It's a little windier than I like out here today, but... So smoke calms them and doesn't irritate them? Right well, now, what so? they do is they think that there's a fire. Oh. And so they will gorge themselves with honey oh. in preparation to go so somewhere else if they have to. We are learning with... Too, too much smoke, though is counterproductive. It, um, goes against what you're trying to do. And it gets them stirred up and angry. Isn't that cool, bud? Now, what our goal is, we are looking to see what the root pattern is. If this queen is that she's laying good and that um, you know overall healthy. The um, if she's got a decent laying pattern. And um, there is a queen cell. Then what I'll and I find the queen. What I'll do is take her and frame that she's on and put her in a box. And I'll turn the one hive into two because it was a it was a very strong hive. Now. The queen, nothing is hatched in there. No new bees yet, it's too soon. But there should be plenty of sealed brood. And um, so there will be less bees than there was the day that I heard. Here we are. We are at Brooks We're Farm. Launching to the rockets. No, oh, yeah, Chris is going to space. <laughs> yeah, no. Right now, they're liable to chase you. 
they're uh, what they're looking for is smoke. Now there are all kinds of bee beekeepers with all kinds of approaches. My primary, I, you know, I typically do not get into a hive unless I've got a reason to. Um, when I first got started, my uncle, I was in them all of the time. And my uncle told me, he said, you know, I believe that you just exercise your bees because I'd get them all stirred up. <laughs> I am, uh, the thing about bees is that you do things deliberate and you do them slow. You don't get in a hurry. My particular personality, it's hard to remember that. And I tend to be a little rougher than other beekeepers I've seen. Now we're going to smoke them just a little. Not much. Would you recommend I get well, no, it doesn't matter if I get that. Right. Yeah, you should be fine. Alright. The um, I gave them a frame of brood or a frame of foundation primarily because a new swarm wants to draw a comb and so that was what I wanted. All of this is new comb and they're not doing a very good job with it. Started. Yeah, they've started. See how this is all new. Right here. I'm going to set these down here mostly because I don't want to accidentally mash her if the queen happens to be on this frame. Oh, wow. Show him that one. She Look most at that, likely. Guys. She most likely is not. Wow. And this is all nectar. That's amazing. They make all those little. Yes. Wow. Holy. Wow. That one has a lot on there. A lot of bees. Yeah, this is the... So are you looking for the queen? I am looking for the queen and I'm looking for queen cells. Queen cells. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you one if there is one. They look like a peanut. Oh. For, Nectar and some sealed honey. For all these bees to be staying in here, there has to be a queen, right? Or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a queen, although I haven't seen any eggs yet. Because if not, they would just leave? Yeah, there's some eggs. All right. You see right down in those cells, that little white? Let me see. Oh, yeah. That is bee larva right there. The less movement that you have across the hive with your hands, the better. Look at all those bees. All that up at the edge is honey. And then this one is full of nectar. Oh yeah, I see right, right there is some kind of a lick. That looks like honey. It is honey. Wow. I must have brushed it with my thumb. That is so amazing. Okay. Right here. is a queen cell started. Oh, it's a, actually a queen cup. And so, let's see if there's anything in there. I caught another swarm yesterday. Where? Up at the other property. Okay. Well, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Population-wise? Yes. I mean, it was a surprise. Yeah. 
Okay. See this different colored in the cells? Yes. What looks like almost kind of like a paste? Yes. That is pollen. Oh. And pollen is the their protein. didn't see the queen and I don't see eggs so I must have missed her. This is all nectar. Wow. They're busy bees. Oh yeah. There's some, three more queen cells. So they're getting ready to raise another queen. Oh they are? Yeah. What do you think happened to the other one? Uh, I imagine she's still in here right now. Oh. But so why would they get a new one, you think? Because or want a new one? she's not laying to suit them. Oh. And so. So when they don't lay enough, then they raise up a new queen? They raise up a new one. I see. And if, if it's strong, the old one will leave. Well, I would have thought we would have seen her, but, but I didn't. My eyes used to be a whole lot sharper than they are now. Again, this I is all. I remember what she looked like. I remember you showed me, but it's so hard with that many bees to. Well, she is. Um, she was a real bright yellow, or a real yellow. Mm -hmm. So that should have stood out. All right, there are no. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought you I, think you saw her? I thought I. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, no, I see black there. No. From this angle, I thought I did. No. Nope. But as you can see. Bees are nothing like what people think they are. Mm -hmm. All right. I didn't see her nowhere, so. And it's unlikely that she would be on foundation that didn't draw. Mm-hmm. Well, they're definitely busy and active and oh, yeah, this looks is good. Oh yeah, they're healthy and doing real well. I'm glad they went to a good place with somebody that knows how to take care of them. Yeah, they... I was telling, uh, talking about them with another beekeeper that I get bee supplies from. And he was surprised as well at how big this swarm was. Yeah, it was really big. And they're usually about half that size. Wow. Well, I tell you, it gave us, not only are they well taken care of, but now we have the opportunity to learn even more about them since we met you. So. It was a great thing that happened. I'm going to stir them up a little bit. Not much, but a little. For what reason, you think? I had bees in this box. Oh, I, I see. Get them out of there. The front and they'll go in. Understand. Shake them out of that box. Yeah. And the banging on the hive. You know, that's not any, something they're particularly fond of having happen. Right. All right, that is... That's the update. That's the bee inspection. Wow, everything they is looking good. They are doing great. And, uh, <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't have asked for a better swarm. Because wow. they're still, as you can see, real gentle. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, we couldn't have asked for a better place for them to go. I tell you, they're in good hands. <laughs> this is David's beautiful view and property. It's beautiful here. So if you, if anybody wants to order honey from Brook Farm, I'm gonna link. Wow. You see a ball. That's a really awesome. pulley, Elijah's got. <laughs> so we're gonna link the the Brooks Farm website where you can go on it and order. It's pure honey. They don't add not no junk into it. I didn't have one. When I was up there. They only they only add the only ingredient in that because I read the ingredients on the on the bottle that he the. Dave gave it to me. The only one ingredient is honey. Yeah, he just filters it and that's it. Gets the stuff. You know, it's raw honey, so there's probably a little bit of pollen in it. Right. Uh, you know, maybe a little wax, but that's fine. You know, I think you all I natural. Think I saw some specks in it, which is pollen. It's that it's even a... more to show how natural it is. Right. <laughs> That's some good stuff. I had honey my whole life from the store, and I tell you, it's nothing like the farm honey, fresh and farm honey. He's getting the, the farm business card. Yep. So here oh, is. Oh, look at that! If anybody wants any honey, and here is his information. I, and they sell sheep too, but I guess they're all booked up with sheep, right? Yeah, all the way through, they, and they sold out sheep for like. Two, three years already. If you want to yeah. get on their list, you got to wait three years for you to get your sheep. Well, two. Right two now, years. we'll take orders for 2024. But, right. Um, All right, guys, you heard not that. Not before then. But he has plenty of honey. Right, honey? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had plenty of lambs, too. But, you know, we had uh, it's almost 100 lambs this year. Wow. I'm, I'm on that list. I want to get the sheep from him. Yeah. We're Aww. on the list. Hopefully, uh, one of these days we will get a, you know, one of these days in two years from now we get a sheep. <laughs> it's worth the wait. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to see them. Honestly. Well, we'll head up there shortly. Let's. Elijah is excited to pet the baby sheep. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's been talking oh, about it. Oh, they'll be excited. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I never saw a baby, a lamb. Yep, that's another one. Another roly poly? No, no, it's not. It's the same one? Yeah, it's the same one. Oh, okay. Going to where the sheep is now, which is um, another side of the farm. So we're going to drive there instead of walk through it. It's kind of far away. Guys, I'm so excited. I have never pet a baby lamb before. Yeah, me too. Elijah too. What, what? Are you excited? Yeah. Aww. And I, and I had a bunch of roly-poly bugs. I can feed them. He found a bunch of roly-poly bugs. He's going to bring them home. <laughs> well, I lose one. He lost one. Yeah, it's okay. So we will keep you updated when we get there. We'll be filming and show you these beautiful sheep and lambs. Milk and they're happy How about cute. it. How cute. They wiggle their tails. Oh, oh. She's happy about it. Look. All right, hold it. You gotta hold it. You hold gotta it hold it like strong. This. There you go. This is Clover, and he's a little boy. Oh, look at him. He's happy. And then this is Dixie, and she's a little girl. And you can look see her kind of fat. You're feeding the baby sheep, the lamb. Look at that. I'm gonna try to get Elijah. There you go. Oh my goodness. Look, Elijah. Elijah, what do you think, bud? <laughs> Is that awesome? He's smiling. And the thing about these sheep is when you're done feeding them, they, they have to sit there and let you love on them for a while. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, they don't just, you know, and there's Mackenzie, and she used to be in the center of attention. These two lambs over here are, their mother passed away. Oh, I see. And so that's why she, they're still in the yard with these two. How sweet. Oh, so my goodness. One, one, I don't see the other one. How sweet are they? Yeah, main flocks over here. This right. is Nina. She's the oldest sheep on our farm. <laughs> oh, wow. And she was in my yard up until yesterday. And, How old is she? Uh, she is um, four years Oh, I 
Oh, they're all going over there. Oh. Hi. Come here. Hi. Hey, mommy. Come here, babies. Yes, Dad. I don't know. Come here. Look at how sweet you guys. Look at how beautiful. The baby lambs. How did it feel to feed them, Elijah? I didn't feed them. You did, you held the bottle. Mommy, I didn't even do anything to them. You it's held the you. bottle, yeah. That's your nose. Try to walk slowly. Just stop. I, I need to get a picture of this. Elijah, look at mommy, Elijah. Elijah. Let me get over here. I want to get her face. Look at mommy. Look at you, bud. You finally, you got to pet one, huh? How sweet. Are they soft? Oh. Whoa. Elijah loves the lambs. You see how she's standing? Her back is real straight. Yes. Her head's up. Yeah. She's in good shape. And that's how you know. If her back was all arched, Mm -hmm. And she, her head was pulled back, and she was looking real bunched up. You know she's not getting enough to eat. That's how you know. Okay. And she could be stressed or something like that. Right. Or too cold. Look at this or one. Hello. Well, what are you doing, little sweetheart? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> hey. She I love the way they run. Marcella loves the dog. She is well, a good dog. Right there. She is. If she has more puppies, we have so many people are like, oh, save me a puppy. Really? Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the video. We had such a fun time recording this video and seeing the animals and having a beautiful time with wonderful people. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.